As students across the country wrap up another school year, school safety remains top of mind for parents everywhere. And as the school year winds down, we're seeing school threats tick up. Just yesterday, a Gaston County High School senior was charged with communicating threats of mass violence in the county. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendes is live at 5. Tanya, these threats are popping up all over. Yeah, they are. You know, we've heard of four just in the last week, and now we're learning more information about the one that happened in Gaston County yesterday. We were in court and learned some disturbing new details. Bond set at half million dollars for 18 year old Jacob Ryan, a judge calling the things Ryan is accused of extremely concerning. Prosecutors say the senior at North Gaston High had plans to shoot and kill six of his classmates, and one of his friends told her mother this defendant had a given her a list verbally of students that he intended to kill at the school with plans of coming into class early and shooting up the class. Allegedly warning some of his friends that if he did it, they needed to run. Police didn't find a gun at the school, but say they did find a knife and brass knuckles in Ryan's car. His defense attorney claiming the senior had been bullied. So I think that these may be students that have been part of that. This, the latest in a series of threats as we inch closer to the end of the school year. Yesterday, a former teacher in Hillsborough. Your job is to help help raise our children. Accused of plotting to shoot up her elementary school, telling friends if they received a text saying the squash is ripe to get out of the school because she's going to attack. It makes me sad. Last week, threats at Mooresville High and in Fort Mill, educators in our area telling all of us to take the threat seriously. If you see something, say something. And the defense attorney in this case saying that her client never actually intended to make good on those threats, also saying that he suffers from bipolar disorder. Reporting live, I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte. Tanya, thank you.